Hey, Chan Clan Kiwi Crate viewers, this is Douglas and his review of the Tinker Crate Ballista. This was a bonus one that he got for his birthday month, and this one seemed pretty cool. So there we have Douglas waiting to review his ballista that he made. So Douglas, tell us what is so cool about this Tinker Crate. Cool, but it shoots a ball that can fire and there's cups to shoot down. So you can have use cups and shoot down things with this ballista? What is a ballista? It's like a it's like a like a it's sort of like a crossbow but Okay, so kind of like a catapult or a crossbow. And how does it work? Uh, you shoot things down with the bullets that you can load inside. Let's take a look at this. All right, so it uses kind of the bounce of the string here to have a little bit of a spring action, huh? And it has a little plastic chamber where you actually put the balls in. And then you pull it back and you can shoot it down, huh? All right, so it looks like these arms here use this string to have a little bit of that spring action. All right, why don't you demonstrate? How's this work? Well, the thing on here said that you could shoot these in order. So you can stick the number stickers on the cup and you can hit them in order. Is that what you did? Down there. Yeah, I see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going to the left. So then you try to shoot them down. <laughs> you shot all of them down. I, I think they, they made this a little weaker on purpose so that you don't end up shooting your brother in the eye, right, Lucas? Lucas is watching this. Lucas will do a, a subscribe shout-out. Right? Right, Luke? You gonna say subscribe? No? All right, there you go. You got a little bit of a, a shot on that one. Don't throw away your shot there. So it doesn't shoot that far. And I think the reason being is they didn't want for you to shoot your eye out, right? Otherwise it'd be like a weapon. Because after all, a ballista was a weapon. Although if you take a look at these instructions, they are rather involved. They involve some rope work and some knot tying as well as assembling the ballista from individual wooden pieces. And it looks like you did that really well, Doug. Didn't even require any help other than tying a knot. Uh, Doug, you need help with me for something. Yeah. So the ballista. Tell me, what's cool about the ballista? Fire. It's like a weapon. It's like a catapult. Uh, what what could use improvement? Uh, like, I don't know. Maybe how strong that, uh, yeah, like how that strong that's wound up, has. how much power it has. Well, did you read this part? Tune your ballista. So, check for twisted strings and tighten your knobs. If your ballista doesn't launch well, the strings may be too loose. Twist the knobs to tighten them. Really Always you. twist both knobs together. So did you do that? Verbaloid, right? Let's see. And it says, if you tie them too much, then they might, uh, they might cut into the knob so that they would break. So you don't want them too tight or they'll scrunch down the wood in the middle so that you can't use them anymore. Okay, no so, spares, so check the twisted strings. Okay, pull it, do not over tighten. 
twist the knobs. Always twist both knobs together. Can I take a look at the, those knobs still? So it looks like those strings are fine. This one looks a little loose over here. So we might be able to actually get a little bit more give by uh, tightening these strings here. There we go. That's getting a lot more spring. And then this side here can use a little bit of work too. Tighten this side up a little bit. There we go, you see how there's a lot more spring? So now I bet you're gonna shoot it a lot better. All right, Lucas, move. Better? Yep. All right, let's line up those cups again. So here's a pro tip. Um, make sure that you tighten your knobs adequately enough so that, that those arms spring out. Lucas is gonna be our Vanna White as he sets up some new cups here. And this will allow the, the ballista to work a lot more effectively. Now it has lethal force. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to line them up by uh, by number. You can actually just stack them up. All right, but don't shoot it in people's eyes. A lot better. Yep. Yep. Shoot it at the door. Whoa, there you go. See? <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> yeah, do you can do it all triple. There you go. So, the ballista, what we learned here is that uh, the, the string can be wound a lot tighter. Just don't over tighten it. But until you kind of uh, get a little bit of a spring on a spring effect on those two arms. So what we learn about the ballista, and this is something that Douglas, I want you to read about is in your tinker sign that this used to be the design or the concept of a weapon that they used to put on castles and they would launch big rocks. Sometimes they would light the rocks on fire and it launch it. Yeah. These ballistas. It's, it's inside the book. It's in some books. They... Oh. You're right. So these ballistas would be able to shoot rocks at castles. No, inside. And you can adjust and experiment yeah, how inside. far you can shoot these. It's inside, um, what is it called? The book. Rise of Nations. And it looks like they have all sorts of old medieval... Uh, engineering weapons that they they created here. The ballista. Bow and arrow challenge. What is this bow and arrow? Oh, you can make a bow and arrow too? That's in this kit. Really? Oh, no, no. You have to use, you have to bring your own stuff. So you have to bring your own dowels and stuff, but you, it teaches you how to make a bow and arrow too. Nice. So you've made your your ballista a lot stronger. And you can knock them over. Did you just... Did your review just get better, Doug? Of the ballista? What do you mean? Did your impression of the ballista get better? Like, I'm surprised I am. No, no, no. Like, do you think it's... you? It got a better review now that it can shoot better? Probably. Probably, huh? So if your ballista doesn't shoot very well, you have to tighten your knobs more. And don't shoot your brother in the eye, right? Right. All right, this is Douglas and his review of the Tinker Crate Ballista by KiwiCo.
check out all our other uh, KiwiCo crates as we are subscribed to the Eureka, the Tinker, the Maker, and the Kiwi crates for each of the kids in our clan here. And we'll continue to update our impression and our videos of each of these builds as we've been enjoying them. This is the Chan Clan and our Kiwi Co. Tinker Crate playlist, the Ballista, as reviewed by Douglas and Lucas. Subscribe.